Tomorrow, local organizations will hold several day of remembrance and action rallies on the anniversary of the January 6th attack. Crown Force Gail Ong has that part of the story. The nation watched as Donald Trump supporters breached the Capitol building on January 6, 2021. Five people died during and after the insurrection. Hundreds were injured while Congress was certifying the victory of President Joe Biden over Trump in the November 2020 election. Wednesday night, Congresswoman Jackie Spear hosted a virtual town hall with police officers who were on duty that day. Who coordinated? I don't know. And that's why we would like the select committee to find out because allegedly there are a lot of things that they come, you know, a lot of people that come forward and have provided information that it was coordinated. Not much has changed since January 6, 2021. Uh, we still have politicians that engage in the same insightful, violent rhetoric. And in many ways, they've doubled down. Thursday marks one year since the attack. On the first anniversary, there will be several day of remembrance and action rallies nationwide, calling for those responsible for the insurrection to be held accountable and for elected leaders to protect voting rights in the country. We stand for democracy. Mike Caggiano is organizing a vigil in San Mateo. Elections should mean something, and especially if they're run fairly. OG Strogat says at least 300 people have rsvp to the Walnut Creek event. The intention is first to continue condemn the assault on our democracy, and second, to take this opportunity to, um, to remember those who lost their lives, everyone who was harmed, everyone who was betrayed, has been betrayed. San Francisco will have a gathering at Civic Center Plaza. One of the largest events will be held in downtown Oakland, where Mayor Libby Schaff is set to be one of the speakers. Gail Ong, Cron 4 News.